Last time during my introduction, I got cut off, but that's definitely not gonna happen this time. Let's take a look at the question together. Thank you. So, what was happening in this question is we have users that are going to risky websites and we wanna prevent or stop that from happening. And we're doing it in really two different ways. We have a firewall and we also have an AUP, acceptable use policy. So the question is, you have your countermeasures, you know, what types of controls are these? So we actually know a few things from the question. First of all, we are doing two types of controls and we have to basically label them. So that to me signals this is gonna be a two part answer choice and we can even see from our answer choices, meaning you have to get both of the answer choices right or label both of them properly to, to get the full answer choice and make it you know fully true and correct. So before I even sort of approach this question, what I would do is actually think about, from my own perspective, what types of control these are. So we know a firewall, well that revolves around technology, so that's a technical control, also called a logical control. An AUP, by contrast, that doesn't revolve around technology, right? A policy, think about that word, associate that with administrative control. Okay, so now we're ready to look at our answer choices. And to help us actually make sure we are, we are selecting the right answer choice, and we're not making any mistakes, let's use the grid method. So we're not in the 18th century anymore, so these exams happen on a computer. So what that means is you can't actually take your pen or pencil or eliminate answer choices. The grid is a nice way for you on your scratch pad to eliminate answer choices. And it's especially effective on questions like these where you have two basically halves of, of the answer choice. So what I would do is actually split them. Meaning we have to get both halves right to make sure it is all correct. So let's look at A, physical and administrative. Okay, well it got kind of one half right, because the AUP again is administrative, but it's not a physical control. Physical control would be like a guard or a fence or lights or something like that. So we know even though one half is right, A is not right. How about B, technical and physical? So I just again said that physical can't be right, but we got the technical part right. Guess what? That's not good enough, not gonna cut it. B is wrong. How about C, technical and administrative? Interesting, so Technical, just what we were looking for, a firewall, and administrative, exactly, a policy. That's exactly right. Now, you may be tempted just to stop here and click C and move on, but you have to make sure that you go through all the steps just to make sure you're not making any mistakes and you're picking the best answer choice. So let's look at D, rule-based and discretionary. So this is interesting because rule-based access control is actually an example of a firewall or a firewall is an example of rule-based access control. What that means is it has a, a predefined list of rules. In this case, a firewall would use something called an ACL, not that ACL, but an access control list that's actually going to basically filter traffic to, um, um, using that predefined list of rules, right? It's gonna tell it what, is to, what you should filter, what you should allow, what you should deny based on that set of rules. Therefore, firewall is rule-based, but the AUP is not discretionary, right? Because in fact, the policy is actually mandatory and discretionary is, discretionary is more about like the data owner, right? Kind of deciding who should have access to something. So not really what we're looking for here. So again, D, only half right, not the right answer choice. Therefore, C is the right answer. If you're looking for a deeper dive into some of this important content, including access control, visit us at cybervista.net slash webinars. We'll see you there, and we'll see you next week on Quitna.